All right, so in question number 13, uh, what we're asked is the following. In hockey, a player's shooting percentage is given by dividing the player's total goals. So that's total goals divided by the total shots. Okay, so dividing the total goals by the total shots. That's the shooting percentage. It's taken, uh, that's, that's shots that are taken on goal. So far this season, Rachel has taken 28 shots on net and scored only two goals. Okay, so total goals, total shots. She set a target of achieving 30% shooting percentage this season. All right, so, so far, she's two out of 28, looks like, right? Not quite 30%. Okay, so A says write a function for Rachel's shooting percentage if X represents the number of shots she takes from now on and she scores on half of them. Okay, so again, this is in the section of rational functions. So we look like we're, you know, um, shots or goals and shots on goal. So we now are projecting into the future here and X is the number of shots that she takes from now on. Okay. And she's going to score on half of them. Okay. So we need to write some kind of function for that. Okay. So uh, let's work over here a little bit. Okay. So the shooting percentage, okay, is the number of goals. So shooting percentage is the number of goals divided by the number of shots, right, times 100. So we can put that 100 anywhere, in the back or on the top there. Okay. So that's going to be the shooting percentage in, you know, in percent, okay? So if she is going to, if we're trying to, going to try and use X as the number of shots she takes from now on, so we don't know X, so it's kind of like how many shots does she have to take, you know, to, to get this uh, 30% uh, shooting percentage. So we have to, we know she wants to shoot 30%, so you see how... Uh, here's the shooting percentage, so we're going to put that in our equation, okay? So we're going to do, also we're going to do 100 times, whoops, black, we're going to do 100, mm, didn't turn out to be black, black pen please, 100 times, now the number of goals, okay, so we've got two goals so far, and we're going to add to this, okay, so <coughs> then X is the number of shots she takes, okay? So X is, so we can't just do two plus X because this is shots, not goals. But what else does it say? She wants to score on half of her goals that she's gonna shoot from now on. So X really, um, we gotta wanna let X equal the shots uh, taken from now, right? And so the goals, if she wants to score on half of them, is going to be 0.5x is the number of goals from now on. Does that make sense? So she's got two goals already, and now she's going to add, I'll just make some room here, 0.5x. That is half of the number of shots that she takes. Okay? So, so what then is on the bottom? How do we represent shots on the bottom? She's taken 28 so far. And how many more shots is she going to take this year? X. Okay, so. <clears throat> so that's the, um, that's sort of an equation. We've got shooting percentage and we've got now our X is the number of shots she's going to take from now on. So I think that's fine for A. Could probably leave it there. Um, how many more shots will it take for her to bring her shooting percentage up to her target? Mm -hmm. So now we just need to solve for X now that we've written this. Okay? So we need to solve for X. So what we're going to want to do is multiply, you know, both sides by 28, sorry, 28 plus X. Okay, so. And then that gets rid of this on that side, right? And so we can multiply this through if we want. This is going to be 200 plus 50x, and so uh, 30 times 28 is what? 840? Yep. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. 840 plus 30x equals 200 plus 50x 
Okay, so get all the x's together. So we got 20x over here when we take 30 away. And I've got 640 over here. And so x is going to be equal to what? 32. So let's see if this makes sense, okay? Now you want, might want to check this, right? Just a quick check here now. So let's, let's check. And we can check on kind of at the end of the season here. So 30% shooting. Um, so we're going to plug X in here. So this is going to be 100 times 2 plus what's 0.5 times 32? 16. 16. Divided by 28 plus 32 is going to be? 60. 60. Okay. So 18, 100. So that's going to be 1,800 divided by 60. Knock off a 0. 180 divided by 6 is? 30. We're good to go. Okay? That's X. So that's number 13. You're lucky I did the whole thing for you. Aren't I nice? So, <coughs> so nice. Okay, any questions about that though? A couple tricky things on there, but that's 13.